Hi, welcome back. Welcome to this next lecture. This is about the profit margin. So now we're getting into the actual ratios of ratio analysis for beginners. Okay, the profit margin. As an introduction, it's a profitability ratio used for sales and cost management and thus tests the overall performance of the business. It tells you how much profit is generated from the sales revenue and the profit margin can be an indicator of pricing power, cost control and also the strategic positioning of the business. As for the formula, it's a pretty simple one. It's just net income divided by sales revenue and I'll keep this formula up uh, all throughout the rest of the lecture. There we go. So where do we find the data inputs? Well, net income and sales revenue both come from the income statement. And the income statement is also known as a profit and loss statement. Uh, net income is the bottom line of the income statement. And sales revenue is also known as the top line and near the top of the income statement. Okay, the result. A profit margin result is expressed as a percentage. For example, 19.2%. And a result of 19.2% would mean that 19.2% of sales revenue ended up as profit on the bottom line. Or in other words, 80.8% .8 of revenue went to expenses. And I calculated 80.8 as just 100% minus 19.2%. So what are good or bad results? In general, you would want a higher result than a lower result. This would mean you would have higher sales or lower expenses and more profit from your business, which is generally what, what, what we're after. However, if you do have a lower result, then this can be made up with higher sales volume, higher turnover. In other words, it's a larger scale business, and this could be a strategic decision. For example, you'll find that many large and global retailers work on very small profit margins, but they're still very profitable businesses. They're just global in scale and have absolutely millions or billions of products sold. And they're able to compensate for that lower profit margin with being much larger businesses and still generate a decent profit. But if company A and company B were identical in all respects in regards to the business's scale, their specific strategy, the business objectives, the business type and those sorts of things, then two identical companies, company A having a 19.2% profit margin is better than hypothetically an 11.4% profit margin of company B. So what are three possible areas for analysis? And note, this is not every possible area for analysis. I'm just giving you three that I came up with, but you can always delve in more if you wanted to. So for example, what is a company's strategic position? In other words, is the company a specialist boutique business, perhaps that uses a higher profit margin? Or is it a large scale, high turnover business that can still be quite profitable even with a lower, even with a lower result? Secondly, how successful was management with cost control? After all, the profit margin is an indicator of how much of the sales revenue was consumed by expenses. So are expenses rising or falling in relation to sales revenue changes? And finally, does the business have pricing power? And by pricing power, I mean, is there anything unique about this particular business or its products that can allow it to charge more without losing sales? An example I could give here is Apple. With their Apple products, you may know that you may have noticed that I'm using Keynote, which is their presentation software. Um, that's because I'm using a uh, MacBook. Now, Apple has strong pricing power in that its products cost relatively more than its competitors. But many people, including myself, are happy to pay a little bit more just to have this Apple product. This is an example of Apple having pricing power. And that's the fundamentals of the profit margin. Thanks very much.